Hi, I'm Rob with Kimball Midwest, and I'm here to help you with one of the most annoying problems a maintenance person can face, a rusty stuck fastener. First, get a wire brush and brush off any flaky rust that's in the way. Next, hit the bolt with a penetrating oil, like our Torx CB. Give it a good soaking. I'd recommend letting the bolt sit for a while. If the bolt you're working on is vertical or overhead, consider using a foaming gel extended contact penetrating oil, like Torx CB+. After the bolt has had a good soak, give it a few light taps with a hammer to break loose the mating surfaces. 12-sided sockets and wrenches can't get a good grip and may round off your bolt. Use a six-sided wrench or socket. If the bolt still won't break free, consider using a tool extender for added torque. Just be careful not to break off the head of the bolt. If the tool extender doesn't work, next step, heat. The idea is to expand the metal and break the bonds holding the fastener to the mating part. You can use a torch, but I'm not a big fan of setting my shop on fire. Instead, I use an induction heat tool. To preserve your tool and your workpiece, Heat the fastener head slowly and evenly. You don't need to get it red hot, just hot enough to cause metal expansion. If you're working with a bolt that's been rounded, use a bolt extractor like our Turbo Torque Extractor. The extractor's left hand twist will dig into the bolt. It also works on studs. Let's talk worst case scenario. The bolt head breaks off. Start with a left handed drill bit. You'll need a drill with reverse. Choose a left handed bit roughly two-thirds the diameter of the bolt that you're drilling and drill dead center. The bit is left-handed, so you won't continue to tighten the bolt like a right-handed drill bit. And there's a chance the left-handed force of the bit will break the bolt loose. And even if it doesn't, you'll still have a hole you'll need to use with an extractor. In this case, I'm using a Super Primaloy double-duty screw extractor that works on both left-handed and right-handed fasteners. Place the extractor into the hole you've drilled. Tap in the extractor, and use a wrench or socket to turn the extractor and back out the bolt. I've placed links below to all the tools I've used today. I've also included a link to a video that talks more specifically about extractors. If you need additional assistance, visit our website, KimballMidwest.com.